Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I got a request to retest um, Sophos here and I decided you know, it's been a long time, they've probably made some improvements to it, so I said why not. So I went online and I got a free trial of their endpoint security. Um, Sophos, as you know, is basically a corporate um, security solutions pretty much only. So that's why it's nothing fancy on the user interface here. This is version 9.5. I just checked for an update like a minute ago. I'll check again. Uh, what else? Let me just show you some of the things that they have here. Um, there, they have their uh, on-axis scanning. You can scan for different uh, type of uh, viruses. Now I'm just going to leave everything of course just like it is, but I just want to show you. So it can really definitely, uh, you can tell it what you want it to scan for, what you don't want it to scan for. Um, you can really break it down into a lot of different uh, settings. You can scan for these extensions, exclusions, cleanup. Um, you can have it deny access, delete, um, deny access and move to. Uh, right now everything is just deny access only. What else? Um, right click scanning live protection. This is like a uh, basically like in the cloud so that's uh, interesting. That's something new. They have web protection. Uh, they do have, uh, okay, here we go, it's easier on access, right click scanning. They have a behavior detection. Um, normally they have a buffer overflow, but uh, because I'm using a, a virtual machine, it's already kind of got that built in. Um, and it alerts only to it so I don't even know why they have that. Um, they do have a... I'm trying to remember where it went. They do have like a HIPS type um, protection, but I don't know where it went to. Ah, uh, here it is. Buffer overflow suspicious. Um, all these different settings. Like I said, you can really break it down into a lot of different uh, things here with this one. But, like I test all my software, it's uh, stock settings. So I have, uh, I think, 10 or so links here. Fairly new. Okay, so we're getting a firewall um, alert. Requested network access. And this is a newer modified application. So three alerts so far, just to let um, Internet Explorer out. Not a real good uh, whitelist per se. Okay, so that one was blocked. Okay, that one was also blocked. Okay, it doesn't look like that one was blocked. Whatever this is.
Now oh, that might not be a piece of malware. So we won't cut that one against it. Okay, that one was blocked. Some of these are um, root kits, I know that. Okay, and that one was blocked. And so was that one. And so was that one. You can see it right here. But we're going to let that run just in case something pops up. Okay, so it looks like it blocked all those, um, which is pretty good, not bad. Um, I got going to get a couple more links for the ones that didn't work, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got a couple more links here. Let's test these out. Okay, that one was blocked. And that one was blocked. Wow, pretty amazing. So it looks like it uh, really blocked everything. Um, other than this, I'm not sure if this is malware or not, but we will find out. Um, what I'm going to do now, because uh, from what it looks like, it looks like everything was blocked, I'm just going to run a um, malware byte scan. So I will be right back when that's done. Okay, so. Malwarebytes just finished scanning and it didn't find anything, so that's good to see. So just for the hay of it, I'm going to throw uh, Hitman Pro at it too, just to see. And uh, if that comes out clean, then we'll call it all good. So I will be right back. Okay, so uh, Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything, so I highly doubt that this was a piece of malware. Probably just uh, an application or something. So, um, what can I say? Um, I can tell you that I did privately also test Sophos here, and I did get to sneak by a couple of applications by it. Um, and how I did that was I had uh, the malware already downloaded, and I ran it. Um, I didn't try to download it offline. Uh, so that was kind of like bypassing their web security and kind of going how do I if you introduce it through a USB stick or whatnot um, and some of the malware none of it was major uh, it was a couple of rogues and things like that so they didn't do too bad in that uh, that instance and um, I mean there's not much more to say about it here it didn't do too it definitely did real good uh, using their web protection um, And even uh, that malware that I um, told you about that I tested wasn't too bad either. Uh, it stopped a lot of it um, in real time. So that's it for this review. Um, oh, just let me show you here what kind of memory usage we got. It's actually very, very low, so that's actually one nice thing to see. And that's really important for an application that is considered um, for business computers they don't want that's why there's no fancy user interface either it's just there they don't care about that and they don't want it to have a major system impact um, well I thought it was really low I must have missed this <laughs> uh, this performs virus scanning and disinfection that wasn't there when I checked it last time so it must be because of the malware that I, uh, that I ran when I checked it, but it was really low. But uh, you can see you have uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven apps here. 
I'm looking at what um, if she's, this this wasn't here, uh, which I'm not sure if it is or isn't here. Um, I'm gonna have to after the review's done. I'm gonna restart and just see if it's still there or not. So you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. So let me restart the computer here, and I'll be back and we'll see if that 109 megs is still there. So let me pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so the computer just uh, finished restarting here. And yeah, it's still there. I don't know, I must have missed that while I was looking at these. And I thought it was very low, but it's not. <laughs> it's horribly high. Way, way, way horribly high. Um, they could definitely improve on this. I mean, most antivirus vendors can get uh, their application running efficiently in at least under 20 megs of RAM. Like, right now I have uh, this... Uh, virtual machine has one gigabyte of RAM set up for it, which, and some of you who work in offices know that you definitely don't get the newest equipment there probably 90% of the time. You have to deal with old, outdated things, so one gigabyte of memory is definitely possible. And if you have right now the base system with nothing running, is using up 43%, so almost 500 megs used up, um, with just Windows here, just sitting here, not doing anything. Um, so it can definitely um, warrant an improvement on that aspect of it. So other than that, though, uh, at least it feels pretty light on the system. I didn't notice the slowdown. They just need to improve their RAM usage. Um, not much more I can say about it here. It did pretty good. And uh, that's it for this review. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to everybody later.